Here we are with the journaling prompt for today. It's actually a quote, and then I've done some questions after the quote. Hey guys, it's Jamie here. I'm back with another page design idea and journaling prompt if you want to do the prompts as well. I've got here a double printed digital from the Pretty Vintage kit, black and white old fashioned photograph. One of the frames I think is from the one of the freebies. Some old scrapbooking paper that I've chopped up and we're going to see what we can do. First things first, glue picture into frame. I just want to make sure on that positioning before I put it fully down. Yeah, that seems fine. I was thinking of creating some kind of card with this maybe even hide that under there if it fits it may not fit I might get some different paper so i can do that okay i have one of the shaped pockets i've cut this piece of paper to fit over this but before we do that i'm probably going to round the corners going to edge this very plain piece of paper with some Victorian velvet distress ink. In this journal I've used a mixture of Victorian velvet, vintage photo and also hitch flamingo. To make this a pocket I've got some scraps of craft card and I am going to hinge it by folding it in half bone folder it down and the same for the bottom so it's going to be hinged on two two pieces I will use some double-sided tape so we'll be hinging along this edge and this edge I always place the hinges so the fold is outermost towards the bottom of this piece place our decoration I wanted a good gap so that the shaker journaling card can be the decoration that goes in there. It needs quite a bit of space. I want to do a fold. I'm going to use these lines here to give me positioning. Taking some scissors, cut up into that fold at an angle does not have to be even because it's not going to be seen. The next thing I want to do, turn this inside out and back the frame onto this piece of scrapbook paper. Line it up with the top and the edge. As soon as the glue's dry, we're going to trim off the excess. I've trimmed this up. I'm going to put some Velcro closures on this little booklet. i put one there. You can use magnets if you prefer. One on that side. Press them down. You've seen me do it loads of times. Squidge them in. Carefully pull them apart so they stay on their individual pages. And then give them an extra push down. This is now going to be placed on this page. And to make sure it goes down properly, I'll open it up, burnish it down. That's our little booklet in place. Now, to hide the booklet and the frame, we're going to put this over. I will glue along this whole hinged area. Line it up. As you know, I'm not a massive fan of seeing hinges on another page. A small tuck spot would work. I will glue round these edges stain these edges with vintage photo. So I'm going to glue the top edge and the sides. You have this tuck spot here to put some extra papers or a journaling card into. 
we do have a lot of journaling cards because we did a big master board. Something like that could just go in there. This area would be to write on. You don't need to add anything to this one. Here we are with the journaling prompt for today. It's actually a quote and then I've done some questions after the quote. One of the greatest regrets in life is being what others would want you to be rather than being yourself. That's by Shannon Alder. My questions to that are, if you have done this, when and why? What happened? What did you learn? Of course, in our secret journaling spot, I have my answer. I lost my sense of self as soon as I started to have longer term relationships. It was very easy for me to become a different person, to adapt to my partner's attitudes, hopes and interests. However, the real me would always break through and would not be someone they felt connected to. So of course, over time, things would come to an end. Only since being properly single for the last 12 to 13 years, have I rediscovered who I really am and now I feel very comfortable with being me. And I think one reason that perhaps that I stay single is a fear of morphing into somebody else's expectations of me. And I know I can't live up to it because the past has proved that. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and have found the page design ideas useful and that some of you are trying out the journaling prompts. If you're on YouTube, please do all the youtube -y things like subscribe, comment, share, take a look at the Facebook group and Creators Club. Link is in the video description, the drop down menu, and I will see you next time.